In this video, we're going to put 15 minutes in the clock and do a 15 minute Amazon online arbitrage product sourcing challenge to see how many winning products I can find in only 15 minutes. This is going to give you everything you need to know, all the knowledge you need to consistently and predictively find profitable winning products to sell on Amazon in 2024. Let's get into the sourcing challenge. All right, guys, we got 15 minutes on the clock here, and we want to track down some online arbitrage profitable products here. Starting off, we can see these Black Puma slides here. We can see 50 plus bought in the past month, which that data is not incredibly accurate, but definitely doesn't hurt. We can see it's got 112 reviews, so we know this listing actually sells quick right here. And then if we go ahead and take a look over on the seller and profit calculator, we can see this listing has a really good BSR, aka sales rank here, right? So you want to make sure as a beginner, you're buying items with as low sales rank as possible. So you want to make sure you're staying below like a 150,000 rank. So we can see a 100K rank sells better than 150K rank, a 50K rank sells a lot better than 100K rank, and a 15K rank sells way better than all of them, and a 1K rank sells way better than the 15K rank here. Right, so we can see when you're a complete beginner, you want to make sure you're staying under 150,000 sales rank, and then you want to make sure the listings you're taking a look at have above three dollars profit per unit and above a 30 percent ROI. And the cool thing is, SellerAmp actually takes into account shipping, sales tax, fees, etc., literally everything. So if you add in your sales tax on SellerAmp, you don't need to do it twice. A lot of people make that mistake, and they'll have their sales tax in their SellerAmp settings, and then they'll also be manually adding it into the buy cost here based on like the car value or what it is after the sales tax, but then you're actually adding it in twice and you need to avoid that right there. So if this is, if you have 5% sales tax factored in your settings, you don't need to do, if the item's $10, you don't need to plug in 10.5 here. You just plug in 10 bucks. It's already taken into account that sales tax here. So we can see our max cost here is about 13 bucks. So if we go ahead and plug this in on Google here, we can see, looks like these are going for about 13 bucks over on the Puma website. However, if we take a look here, there's also an additional 20% coupon. So we can see 13 take off 20% here, right? This goes from 12.99 where it's like close to being good. We can see ROI is still in the red there to taking off that 20%. And now this listing becomes even better here. So that's the cool thing is we can actually do math within selling up as well. So we can multiply, you know, and add in one, subtract one, divide by two, multiply by five, etc. here. So we can see this was $13. Then we want to multiply it by 0.8 to take off that 20% here, right? So we can see it's about $6 profit, 55% ROI. And now we know this listing sells quick today. We know it's profitable today. And now what I want to do is scroll down here on seller ramp and take a look and make sure this listing's actually been profitable over time. And we can see even though Amazon's on it, there's a lot of third-party sellers in the buy box. And we can see there's lots of third-party sellers that have sold out. So because the off count's gone up and down, we know people are making money on this, right? So what I want to do from here, guys, is I want to scroll down here on SellerAmp and actually find other winning products from here using what's called the storefront search, aka reverse sourcing method. A lot of beginners think the best way to find stuff when you're just getting going is going to random websites and taking a look at the clearance section. Um, it's actually a terrible way to do product research. That's called manual sourcing. That's a great way to do it. Once you know your favorite suppliers, once you know their deals, their sales cycles, et cetera. However, when you're a complete beginner, what makes a lot more sense is to just look at what other people are making money on and try to figure out where those items are being carried and track down those items at profitable prices using discounted gift cards from Card Bear and Top Cash Back, email sign up coupons, pop up coupons on the website, coupons just found on Google, the cash back and coupon extensions like Capital One Shopping, Be Frugal, Retail Me Not. Etc. here and all these different ways of finding deals, holiday sales, combining those together, different rewards programs as well. Right. So now what I want to do is we can see, right, we're going to open up instead of going on random websites and trying to find good products on there, we're going to find a bunch of examples of vetted Amazon listings using what's called the storefront stocking method, guys. Right. So we can see, taking a look at these different seller storefronts here, pretty quickly, we're going to be able to see a bunch of different examples of different name brand products they're carrying. Right. And then we're going to be able to see all the different categories they're carrying as well. We can filter in those specific ones if we want to. So, for example, if you're watching this, you're probably a beginner seller getting ungated in Puma. You can use soccer.com. But the cool thing about it, a, a brand like ColourPop is ColourPop is actually an auto ungate brand. Right. So you can sell it from the get go for most new sellers. Right. And then it's like, okay, how do you find sellers to storefront stock off of? You look at our other videos and the other winning products we're going to find in this video and the other winning products we found in our other videos here. Right. So now we can see. 
right? Looks like these are consistently going in like the $7.50 range in the buy box. So our max cost over here on SellRamp is $1.50. So let's go ahead and see if these are uh, $1.50 on the ColourPop website. So we can see here, looks like these are pretty expensive. However, these are pretty cheap, right? At only two bucks here. So I'm definitely going to actually look this up. Now you're going to see all the time when you're doing online arbitrage, guys, you're going to see different examples of stuff that looks cheap in the Google search. You might as well look it up. It costs you nothing here. So let's see. So let's look up. Uh, so this is right here. So color pop, color pop here. And then we'll copy and paste this color in as well here too. And we can see we're paying two bucks. That 15% might actually work as well here too. So let's see. So we can see here. So this is called the, uh, let's see. What's this item actually called here? Color pop fresh lips. Um, so we can see. Looks like um, a pencil liner here. Okay, that's different. All right, so I'm not seeing anything that matches those. No problem here. Let's see. It looks like these are all the uh, relatively the same item here. This one's a little different. Let's see. The problem on this guy is that the rank 600K. So we're not going to worry about that here. Right? We'll take a look at some other Puma listings because we know they have a deal going on. Well, let's see. It looks like this Puma backpack here. So this is a little bit higher sales rank. However, this time of year, this could totally be good because it is a backpack. And I can see that the offer, or I can see that the rank's actually been getting significantly better here. Right, so we'll take a look at that as well here too. Let's see. So this is, ooh, at 20 bucks here. So let's run the numbers on this because this is not going to be good today, but it might be good in the future. Let's see. And so we're about six minutes in here. So we can see 20 bucks right here. I definitely want to see if there's any coupon. Capital One Shopping have anything for us doesn't look like it um unfortunately so let's see so if we're here at 20 going for 33 that puts us just about break even here however we can see there are lots of people fbm in this item right so let's see what the trend looks like on the keep chart for this item here we can see looks like the uh the price is actually really nicely starting to trend up here right and then we can see literally you know today someone's buy boxed at 37 here so if we plug in 37 here right? That puts us about a 16% ROI. And the number one rule of merchant fulfilling is if a listing is pretty expensive, but pretty light, it's actually better to FBM compared to FBS. This is 15 ounces here. And if we go ahead and scroll down here and plug in like $6 FBM shipping, this is actually pretty close. So this is the kind of thing I wouldn't buy. However, I would keep an eye on to see if that trend continues because we're just at the start of back to school guys. And that we can see at 27% ROI here, if this goes up to 40, which is definitely realistic based on that trend of the competition going way down here, right? This could totally end up being good. So what I want to do on this item is I want to one click export this out to an almost good spreadsheet on SellerAmp, right? And come back to this in the future here. So we can see that definitely looks cool here. Let's see, we got some more Puma stuff. So we know these guys were good here. Well, let's see, 33K rank right here. Looks like it's about a max cost of 38 here. Let's see if we can get down with that. Let's see. So it looks like we are way off on 40. Yeah, like 48 here. We'd pay 48. We'd probably lose like 15 bucks a unit. So it's definitely not what I'm looking for. Let's see, these are a little bit higher sales rank here. Um, however, I can see on the Kiba chart, there is good movement though here. So we know people are making money on that. Let's see. Okay. Let's see. So, ooh, okay. These actually should work here, guys, at uh, 25 or so, or they're going to be pretty close. Let's run the numbers here. Let's see. So this is a black size nine. So remember here, we're here at 31, and then we have that 20% coupon. For whatever reason, the Poom website crashes on Chrome. So I actually typically use it on Safari, so, but we can open it up quick here. You'll see. Yeah, we can see it crashes right here, but you use it on Safari. That you're fun. You'll be fine here. So we can see 31 here, right? So we're here at 31, right? Just about break even there. Right, and then we want to take off 20%. Right here, we're pretty close, unfortunately, for a women's shoe, even though this is about 30% ROI, this is not quite good enough. I would recommend looking into discounted gift cards as well. I don't, can't really remember if there's discounted gift cards for Puma, but say there's 7% discounted gift cards on top cashback or car bear. We take that off here. So let's see. So we're here at, uh, plug these guys in on Google here. We can see. We're at, yeah, 31. So 31, take off 20% here. Right, and then say there's seven percent discounted gift cards here. Right, we plug that in. Remember, guys, this is after shipping, sales tax, fees, etc. Here, right, nine bucks profit on twenty three dollar purchase ain't bad as long as we can see movement. Taking a look at the chart here, and that we can see is totally the case. It was buy box in at forty nine, literally very recently here. Right, it looks like it's a little bit lower there in the past. So I'd want to see a you know more positive trend here. We can see. Look at what happened to this during Q four. Competition went way down. Price went way up. Absolutely the type of stuff I want to take a look at here. Not quite going to be good today. Let's see. Got these Navy slides here. Let's see. Max cost of 16 here. Right. Looks like we want to plug in like a Navy right here. 
Let's see, 35 right there. Looks like Shop Premium Outlets got them right here. So we'll take a look at these guys here as well. Let's see, so Shop Premium Outlets, that's a sleeper website too at 16. Right here, we'll take a look at that. Probably wanna take a look at some of these, uh, these other ones here as well too. Let's see, so we're here at uh, 15.99 here, right into 34, eight bucks profit, 51% ROI. Looks like a pretty good opportunity there, right? And we just wanna make sure that the keep it chart checks out and we can see offer count, AKA competition has gone nothing but gone down, right? And uh, the price has gone nothing but go up, has done nothing but go up here, right? So we can see it was around 20 in June, right? Then it was around 30 in July or uh, late June here. And then we can see it consistently been above 30 for a good amount of July here too. So this is actually the, absolutely the type of product we wanna take a look at here. And now, Finding other winning products from you would probably just be looking at the other sides here as well. But what we can also do here, guys, is take a look at some of these other storefronts here as well. So opening up some of these other sellers right here. So we can see 186 reviews right here. Right, we can see the sellers actually got no reviews. Rare, we can see here. We'll go ahead and take a look at right here. We can see a bunch of and one stuff and everything too here. Right, we can see. Right, taking a look at these other sellers here. More Puma stuff as well. So taking a look here, we can see. 11K rank on these sports bras right here. We'll take a look here. Max cost of $11 right here. Not seeing anything that's really close. This actually looks like a pretty good deal for uh, for Reebok here as well. Calvin Klein potentially too. And that's the key is like, how do you find other reseller friendly brands to take a look at? You storefront stock other sellers that are carrying this stuff, right? Good fellow right here. We can see, looks like this seller's making money on this kind of stuff here. We can see, right? 165K rank, a little bit higher. Max cost of 20. Let's go ahead and take a look and see if we can do anything right here so we can see Ooh, okay yeah 17 here i don't know if this will be an auto on gate but we can definitely on gate using target here so let's take a look here guys right so we're here at 17 right here so 17 dollars right and then we can see max cost is 20. now it does say a private label it actually only says private label um assuming for this because it's really really low competition right so don't automatically disqualify stuff that says private label here but if we take a look at 17 we can see eight dollars profit 38% or 48% ROI here, 47%. And then we just want to verify that this listing actually moves, taking a look at the Kiba chart right here. And we can see, looks like it's a little bit slower of a seller in terms of offer count movement. However, it, it really has been low competition for a while and someone did just sell out and people have held their price pretty steady, right? So what I'd want to do is, you know, we can see that one size was cool, right? What about a size small right here as well? Let's see, so we can see size smalls, yeah, at 42 here, right? And we can see, Size small here. We can see literally pick up, yeah, right there and everything. So we can see here, right? We're here at 17, right? So $11 profit, 65% ROI right here. That's totally cool, right? And we can see, right? If we take a look at the year long data right here, looks like this is a little bit newer of a listing. We don't have a ton of proven movement on that, but that is nice and profitable there. And that's just, you know, coming from Target. We could discount a gift card that with Card Bear Top Cash Bag as well, right? So we can see that was cool. What about these uh, shorts at 123K rank with a max cost of 19 right here? So let's see. Looks like these uh, check out here are going to be pretty close or good. Let's see. So we're here at 19 on these guys. Right. So let's see. What are these guys going for? These guys are, yeah, 37 here. So we're here at 19.00. Pretty close. Right. Say we can get 4% off with a gift card with Top Cash Backer Card Bear here. We do that math within seller amp right there. That puts us pretty close to being good. I'd probably pass on a clothing item like this. It's a little bit lower ROI. However, we'll go ahead and see on the Cupid chart if this has been higher in the past. Aha, so this is actually a pass due to the offer count going up and the price going down. And that this was, you know, 40 for a while here, which is totally cool. The problem is it's not 40 anymore. And the reasoning on that most likely is because that offer count, the purple line here, you guys see offer count right there, went up right there. So at 40, this was a really nice profitable product for a while. Unfortunately, today, it's not good due to that offer count going up here. And, and uh, if we go ahead and one click export this out to an almost good spreadsheet in SellerAmp using the SellerAmp Google Sheets feature, we could actually come back to this in the future. However, the cool thing is now this opens up to most likely some other target listings, just storefront stocking here as well. So you just want to open up these other sellers here and storefront stock from there. And take a look at more of these good fellow items just from uh, Target right here. So we can see 19 here, right? This is actually profitable as well. About 40. See, we dug into this little niche here. Same thing with Puma, right? Same thing taking a look at this good fellow stuff. The problem on these, I don't think they're selling quick enough because the rank is really, really high here. So let's see. So 2XL here. Let's see. What about a size small here? This guy's going for 46. Yes, this is actually phenomenally profitable here, right? And we'll take a look. Yeah, we can see. 
Yes, we see that was a different item, but either way here, this provides another opportunity because we know this brand only comes from Target to go ahead and store front stock from here and everything. So if you're, you know, really at square run, makes sense just to get going, store front stock with SellerAmp. Don't worry about manual sourcing. The SellerAmp mobile app is included with your SellerAmp subscription, so you can go ahead and do retail arbitrage as well. And that's the basics of online arbitrage sourcing with a 15-minute sourcing challenge. Hope this 15 minute sourcing challenge was helpful, you guys. If you have any questions, let us know down below. Make sure to get a free two week trial of SellerAmp on our website, selleramp.com, and we'll see you guys in the next one.